Hi everybody, my name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you're finding something of value here. I truly do. And I just want to take a second to point out that uh, something that I find very interesting. Um, for those of you who tuned into the the call-in show tonight, um, uh, and thank you for doing so. But uh, uh, you heard me talking about how, um, you know, I always end most of my videos by saying, you know, one of these days this war is going to end, you know. And, um, and today in, uh, in the Senate, they voted to end the support for the war in Yemen. And, uh, and that's what the, 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 um, the topic of today's call-in show was about. And, uh, and because because it's like it's like hey look at they actually did something to kind of try and end war a little bit you know and it's like almost like hey it's actually something happened in the direction I keep saying one of these days this war is gonna end so like yay and I wanted to share that moment with the people and then but since then I have watched um, about sixteen or eighteen hours of prime time. Uh, mainstream media, U.S. news, and uh, and a little bit of uh, I watch a little bit of Canadian news, and a little bit of British news, and a little bit of French news, and nowhere in that, in any of that news, did I see a story. Uh, and I'm telling you, I watched like 18 hours of it, and I watch it very quickly, uh, but uh, you know, on high on high speed, fast forward. But uh, I'm very good at doing that. I have <laughs> 15 plus years of experience doing that. And um, so I know what I'm looking for. And I saw nothing about Yemen in 18 hours of primetime uh, mainstream U.S. media news. And to me, it was like this big thing. Hey, the Senate's actually taking their responsibility of what they're supposed to be doing, which is Congress declares war, not the president. And no one said it was okay to go to war in uh, uh, Yemen, or no one declared war with Yemen, and blah, 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 on and on. So I thought, hey, this is a really big thing. And no one in the mainstream media news has said anything about it, and and this is again why uh, uh, you know I do this, why I do what it is that I do, is because uh, if I hadn't said something about it, a lot of people probably wouldn't know that the the Senate, you know, and it it's just mind boggling to me. You know, people say, oh, you don't do anything. Well, I just did something that none of the mainstream media did that seems to me to be very important to all of us and uh, and I just wanted to point that out anyways I thought that that was a value to point that out. I think that you guys should be able to see these things a little more clearly when I like focus on it you know so you can say hey look at what happened because <laughs> this to me is very important. One of these days, this war is going to end. Every one of my videos for 15 years, um, this is very important to me. And and it just how it cannot be very important to anyone in the mainstream media. Oh, I also looked at some uh, a couple hours of uh, local Seattle news too. So how this cannot be important to anyone else in the news only leads me again back to the point that the news comes the the mainstream media news is is um, Pentagon propaganda it comes straight from the Pentagon this is something the Pentagon does not approve of they don't want you talking about they don't want this become a movement where more people are pushing for more end to more wars so they're not going to say anything about it and and that's what and that's why they hate Mox News, the juggernauts, the mainstream media, the big boys, and they are always coming after me. And and I just think it's very important, very odd, and and it's the kind of thing that you point out to people who might might have just missed it otherwise, because because it says a lot about the world we live in. And, and the psychological operation that is the U.S. mainstream media. And again, 
it is a huge mistake to call it fake news. It's not fake news. It's agenda-driven military propaganda straight from the Pentagon. So we understand each other. And I think that this makes it even more clear. So, and I figure a bunch of you probably didn't see anything about it in the news either, because I know a lot of people are news hawks, and they're like, hey, it, it just, it seems important to me, and I want to point it out. So anyways, it's my birthday on March 19th, and we are well within the birthday zone, and I'm asking everybody, if you would kick down for a pizza, that would be awesome of you. It's easy to, you know, Mox News survives solely on contributions from good people like yourself. Um, I've always said, as long as I have the support of the community that I serve, I will do this forever. And if you can't see the loss of what it would be to the community of someone who's pointing out things like this that actually the mainstream media doesn't even say a word about to you, and you can't see the value in having that guy on your side, then uh, I might as well go away. Okay, so, uh, and I never ever have made any money commercializing any videos on YouTube at all, ever. So I don't take 15 seconds away from your life with every video. And, and I published over 65,000 videos for more than 700 million views. And if I had been taking those 15 seconds away on every video, that would have been years and years of time that I had taken from this community just so that I could make a penny okay and I've never done that and 700 million views is a lot of pennies that I gave up 700 million views is a lot of pennies trust me um, so Mox News survives solely on donations, contributions, and tips from good people like yourself. It's my birthday on March 19th. We're well within the birthday zone. I'm asking everybody to kick down for a pizza. It's easy to do. There's clickable links in the text body of this video right below the video, or you can go to Mox News, and it should take less than two minutes to, you know, buy Mox News lunch. I like lunch. That would be very nice of you. Okay? So, Stay cool Wednesday is this war is gonna end till that day.